Hi, I'm Shelby Thornton reporting for Bass City Beat. Drinking and driving has become a serious issue all across America. Macomb County leaders are working together to launch Project Remedy in hopes to lower drinking and driving crashes and underage drinking in Macomb County. This project is looking at different areas within Macomb County and trying to get an idea as to how do we address those areas that are hardest hit, the people that seem to be more engaged in these type of activities, and involving law enforcement throughout the county to help with these coalitions and these, uh, uh, these activists to try to prevent this or at least minimize uh, the impact of what we're seeing out there. Our kids are smart, <laughs> and we're not trying to beat them. We're not trying to, to get them caught. We're not trying to punish them. We're truly trying to educate them. I think once they, they actually hear the reasons behind the project this year, like this, they'll start to take uh, the whole issue of drinking and driving a lot more seriously. Few of them know, for example, that a minor in possession of alcohol, what we usually refer to as a MIP, is just that. It's the possession. It's not, you know, it doesn't have to be consumption. Possession is a criminal misdemeanor. And the way that our legislature has set this up is placed, abstracted, if you will, the technical word, right on their actual driving record, whether or not a motor vehicle was involved. Alcohol is a drug that can lead to consequences for anyone who consumes it and does not take responsible actions. When a person drinks and drives, you are handing a car to a complete stranger. Although some of the consequences on your screen may not seem like a big deal to you now, it will be when it costs either you or someone else their own life. But I think what some people tend to forget is uh, the health issues that come into play here. When you're drinking, it changes your mindset. Some people become somewhat, I guess, dependent upon alcohol. And uh, also, it does nothing to enhance performance, so whether you're a sports athlete. It does nothing but possibly bring down your mood and uh, put people in a depressed state. So why people engage in it to begin with has always been a concern to me, especially people that are underage. We've all come together, basically, today to... Uh to really talk about what's happening here in Macomb County on the issues of drinking and driving crashes and underage drinking. Uh, most of you, I'm sure, have had that opportunity through the wonderful news media to hear some of the awful stories uh, of things that happen out there. And we have an opportunity through this grant to, to make a difference in the lives of young people here in Macomb County and therefore in the lives of all of us. Project Remedy is focusing on six communities. These six were chosen because they have the highest incident of alcohol-related crashes in Macomb County. These communities include Clinton Township, Frazier, Roseville, St. Clair Shores, Sterling Heights, and Warren. Michigan, more specifically Macomb County, has some shocking statistics that might help you think twice before you pick up those extra few drinks and get behind the wheel of a car. I'd like you to please... Uh help us all become problem solvers and help change the lives of our young people and ultimately reduce underage drinking and drinking and driving crashes here in Macomb County. For more information about Project Remedy and how you can play your part, please contact CARE at 586-541-0033, extension 221. It seems somewhat repetitious. I mean, we talk about these initiatives, these programs, Project Remedy is somewhat of an encapsulation of many of these things, but there's a reason why we do that. And it's trying to get that message to people to understand. Some people are quick studies. They pick this stuff up right away and they realize, okay, I don't want to get involved because I don't want to get myself uh, in, engaged with law enforcement. I don't want to get arrested. Some people realize the health issue and say it's just not right, it's not good for you. But there's some people that just don't seem to get the message. And uh, it takes a lot of time and energy on our part and community support to try to get that message out. But unfortunately, some people, the only way they're going to learn is if and when they make that mistake and they end up getting themselves either a citation or arrested and they are now engaged in the system. You are in charge of your own life. But remember, when you put yourself behind the wheel of a car after you've been drinking, you are putting so many other people at risk as well. So make sure you're not one of the next statistics and follow the law. For Bass City Beat, I'm Shelby Thornton.